ओके टुडे विल बी सॉल्विंग सम रिलेटेड टू जॉब सीक्वेंसिंग प्रॉब्लम विथ एन नंबर ऑफ जॉब्स एंड टू मशीन्स ओके नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू सॉल्व द सम ओके विल फर्स्ट गो थ्रू द क्वेश्चन एंड सी वॉट इज द क्वेश्चन ऑल अबाउट ओके सो इन द क्वेश्चन वी हैव फाइव जॉब्स वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव वी हैव टू मशीन्स ए एंड बी एंड दीज आर ऑल द वैल्यूज ओके अबाउट द नंबर ऑफ आर्स taken by machine a and machine b in order to complete the respective job now in this sum we need to find two thing one the idle time and second the total you know elapsed time the total time taken by both the machine to complete the jobs now in order to solve that we'll start by one by one okay we'll go in this particular procedure and complete the sum so step number 1 we first need to find the optimal job sequence now in order to find the optimal job sequence okay we need to create a table now check there are five jobs available so we'll create a table which will have five columns now remember if there are two machine the left side okay the left side of the table will represent a or machine a and the right side will represent machine b now we will start finding the optimal job sequence by taking the least you know le uh, taking the machinery or taking the job which has the least number of hours okay now if that particular hour appears in machine a we will note from the left side and if that least r appears in machine b then we will note it from the right side okay so let us see how to do this in by actually solving it okay now in this entire question we'll find try to find out the least r taken or the, the most lowest number so the lowest number or the lowest r which is given as 1 this is the least amount present now the machine corresponding to this one is machine a now if it is machine a we'll have to note from the left side now machine a has least one hour and it is representing job number 2 so we'll note down here job number 2 now since i have already used this this particular columns is of no use now let us find the second least now the second least r is 2 hours and that is under machine b so now that appears on the right side okay it represent job number 1 so we'll note down job number 1 again this is done after do the next least is the third or three hours okay it is represented by job a it is represented by job a so it will start from the left side okay and it represent job number 4 the next least number is 4 and this is again over so 4 okay it is under job b okay machine b and job number 5 so since it is machine b we will note it down on the right side okay and lastly we have number 7 and only one spot available so we can note it directly so our optimal job sequence is first you know job number 2 will be done then job number 4 job number 3 job number 5 and lastly job number 1 now let us see how we need to calculate or what is the you know format of calculation of idle time and the elapsed time so now this is the table that we need to create the first column will have jobs Now here, since there are two machines, so we'll have machine A, and second will be machine B, and we'll have the idle time. Now in machine A, we need to find the in time and out time. Similarly, for B, in time and out time. In idle time, we have to find for machine A and machine B. so this is the basic format for solving job sequencing problem so first step was we need to find the optimal job sequence and secondly we need to do the calculation 
so this is like you can say second step where we are going to do the actual calculation now under job we will have to note down the optimal job sequence that we have got so here it will be job number 2 4 3 5 and 1 okay now let us see how we need to solve this okay now always remember ki the first machine job the end time will always be zero Matlab from zero hours you are going to start your work now check in machine a under job 2 how many hours did it take so for machine a under job 2 it has taken one hour so my out time will be 0 plus 1 which is 1 so it has taken 1 hour now for one job whatever is the out time for the second it will become the end time so we cross it we bring one down so now next job is job number 4 in job number 4 for machine A it has taken 3 hours so my out time will be 1 plus 3 which is equal to 4 we bring 4 down ok so my next out time will be 4 under job number 3 is 9 hours going to take so 9 plus 4 is 13 again we bring 13 down next will be 13 plus in job number 5 it has taken 10 hours so here it will become 23 ok we bring 23 down ok and lastly it will be 23 plus job number 1 has taken 5 hours so total is 28 ok so we first start with 0 and then we keep adding the number of hours that have been taken by the respected number of job that was for machine A the first machine now let's see we start how to start the second machine always remember first machine first out time will be equal to the in time for the second machine so whatever is the out time under your first machine that will become your in time for the second machine and now we have to follow almost similar procedure but we just have to be careful in one point that we will see okay machine b under job 2 has taken 6 hours so the out time will be 1 plus 6 which is equal to 7 okay again the rule was whatever is the out time will become the in time but now here you have to be very careful if the out time is more than you know if the out time of machine b is more than that of machine a then it has no issues you can directly bring it down so here it became 7 okay but if it would have been less than the you know the out time of machine a then there will be one small effect that we'll have to do so we'll see that ahead but here as of now it is greater so we bring it down so out time for the next job will be now this is job number 4 which is 8 so 7 plus 8 is 15 again this is 15 this is 13 15 is more than 13 so we bring down 15 as it is job number 3 may it has taken 7 hours so it will become 15 plus 7 which is equal to 22 now this is 22 okay the next out time of machine is 23 so you cannot get 22 down simple logic machine a need 23 hours to complete job number 5 machine b cannot start with 22 hours it will be usually have to start after 23 hours or at 23 hours so if if the number okay if the total out time is less than that of the first machine we bring the same number down okay we carry the out time 23 hours okay we'll bring it here now here what happened is machine b had already finished work at 22 hours but it cannot start because machine a will take 23 hours to finish that job only after that machine b can start so here machine b had to actually wait for one hour so the idle time of machine b under this case became one hour thereafter we can directly solve now further 23 plus now job number 5 was 4 hours so it became 27 now again 27 I could have bring it down directly but here it is already given as 28 hours so you cannot start the job B at 27 hours so you will have to start it at 28 hours again 1 hour idle time will be recorded lastly 28 plus 
job number one it has taken two hours so total became 30 okay now let's take here now now see here machine a took 20 day, 28 hours to complete the job whereas machine b took 30 hours to complete the job it means machine a had to wait how many hours now here it had to wait two hours so that was the ideal time that machine a had because otherwise it was all in normal coincidence that 0 1 1 4 4 13 13 23 23 28 so there's no gap between that the only gap between us the 28 to 30 so two hours idle time now machine b started with you know after one hour the in time was after one hour so meaning from zero to one it had to wait so another idle time that appears here so in total a had an idle time of two hours whereas b had a idle time of three hours okay so con to conclude this number one we need to first find the idle time so the idle time for machine a is equal to two hours idle time for machine b is equal to three hours so the total idle time the total idle time that the machine was idle is 5 hours and finally the total elapsed time that is the total time taken to complete all the job by both the machine is the total is 30 hours okay so this is how we have to solve job sequencing problem sum where there are n number of jobs and two machines.